just winding up the work day, he's in finance. Across the hall, she's in creative design. A quick look around the home office tells the story of what happens off the clock. A fast fuel up in the kitchen before heading out together. Jenna and Mark McClary are devoted to each other and roller derby. Once they step inside the ring, Jenna transforms into her roller derby name, Pixie Bruiser. Easy to pick out in her glittery pink helmet. Hard to miss on the track. Jenna, or Pixie Bruiser, is not only the governing body president for the New Hampshire Roller Derby, she's a blocker on the All-Stars team. And the coach. Use the track, use the whole, whole track, use the whole track. Just happens to be her husband. Teaching the sport when he's not playing on a men's team, his derby name, Tupac Shocker. Is it true that you met in roller derby? Yep. Yeah. I, I can I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at at, uh, at Roller Kingdom mm -hmm. on a practice night at like 7 p.m. I was skating on the inside part of the track, Joe was skating on the outside part of the track. As a I, referee. He was as a referee. referee. I was skating on the rink in a pack, and I remember he kind of just made eye contact, and he put out his fist. And I, I wasn't sure what that meant at the moment. I'm like, do I give a fist bump? Like, what do I do? So I just awkwardly like put out my hand, and <laughs> we fist bumped, and that started everything. <laughs> that started everything. Fist bump. <laughs> good, good. A whirlwind of skating and dating led to an on-the-track engagement and rolled right into a derby-perfect wedding. Oh, we got a lot of looks skating through the North End. Yeah. Their wedding album is full of photos gliding through the big day on skates in the North End of Boston. Remember when we were going over Hanover Street and people started taking out their cell phones? Our wedding cake was awesome. We had uh, um, models of ourselves in skates on our cake. And the best part of all, a big new family. Jenna embracing her stepchildren, Bella and Kai, and welcoming them to the family skate. That's Bella in a familiar pink glitter helmet. Kai also wheeled into competitive junior leagues after watching the games for years from the stands. His derby name, Just Kai. A little bit of encouragement from, and um, <laughs> Uh, just definitely a little bit of thinking it'd be cool and fun to pursue a sport. Everybody really enjoys it and they have they have fun doing it and it's great competition. We travel to really cool places together. They taught the kids the complex rules of roller derby. <laughs> All right, we need to get it to a line. Get it to a line. Simply put, each team has a pack of blockers trying to stop the opposing jammer in the star helmet from passing and making it around the track. Today's rules prohibit old school hitting, but it is still rough and tumble. The perfect mother-daughter time for another family. I took the kids, they were children then, to watch a roller derby game um, just with my family and decided I wanted to play. Mom goes by Stormy Heather on the track. Stormy, shoulder in, shoulder in. Playing alongside her daughters, their derby names, Eliza Jamilton, and Hannah goes by Hannibal Rector. I think it's pretty cool. It's really unique that I can play with my younger sister and my mom all on the same yeah. team. Um, and yeah, I think that's the best part of it. The players take their sport seriously. Skate free or die! Fighting for rankings in the Women's Flat Track Derby Association, while this nonprofit league raises money for charities. The next women to join the pack are in a rookie camp just next to the track, learning how the derby rolls and why it feels like family. The, the roller derby community is extremely uplifting and accepting, yeah. so that's really a big part of why we keep coming back to it. We know what it's like to to have this bond on the track and to like give your all and to sweat and to be hit and hit and 
go through chaos. <laughs> I guess it's just an overwhelming feeling of accomplishment. Like, I actually got out here, I did this, I'm still doing this. It's like that major feeling of I'm still in the game, I still got this. Like, we're still talking along, and it's, it's pretty cool.